Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about the alternate angles with parallel lines. And we'll cover a couple of examples on how to calculate alternate angles. And we will conclude the topic with a summary. Finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are alternate angles with parallel lines? There are two pairs of alternate angles when two parallel lines are intersected by a third line. So here we have two parallel lines, this line and this line, and a third intersecting straight line. So we can label this angle as A. The alternate angle of A is here, and we can label that as B. So it forms a Z-shaped or Z-shaped. So this is a horizontal line, and a vertical line, and then the horizontal line again that makes up the Z or Z shaped. And we have A is equals to B. The second pair is where we can label this angle as C. And the alternate angle is here, and we can label that as D. Again, that is a horizontal line, and then it's a vertical line, and there's a horizontal line again, making up the Z or Z shaped. And so we have C is equals to D. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In the first example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. So we can recognize that this line is parallel to this line, and this is the third intersecting line. And this is 120 degrees, and the alternate angle of this is actually x, because it makes up the z or z shaped. So that is the horizontal line, vertical line down, horizontal line going across. And we know that alternate angles are equal to each other. And so x is equal to 120 degrees. In the second example, we're asked to calculate the angle x. And once again, we can recognize these two lines as parallel lines, and we have a third intersecting line. And we're given that angle as 40 degrees, and we're asked to find x. So we can recognize that the alternate angle of x is here, and we can label that angle as y. So once again, there is that z or z shaped a horizontal line, a vertical line, and a horizontal line again. And so we can recognize that this is a straight line, and so the total angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. And so we can solve for y as 180 degrees, total angle on a straight line, minus 40 degrees, which is that 40 degrees. And that simplifies to y is equals to 140 degrees. And we know that x and y are alternate angles, and so they must be identical. So if x is equals to y, is equals to 140 degrees. In the third example, we're asked to calculate the angle x, and we're given two pairs of parallel lines. The first pair is this line, which is parallel to this line. The second pair is this line, which is parallel to this line. And we're given 112 degrees here, and we're asked to find x. So we can recognize that this 112 has a corresponding angle here, which is also equals to 112 degrees, which is that f-shaped angle. So this line, this line, and this line traces out the f-shaped. And we know that this line is a straight line. And so the total angle on this line needs to sum up to 180 degrees. And so we can solve for y. And we know that x and y are alternate angles because it traces out the z or z shaped. So with this line, this line, and this line tracing out the z or z shaped. So x must equals to y. So because y and 112 lie on a straight line, we can solve for y as equals to 180 degrees, total angle on the line, 
minus 112, which is that angle there, and y is 68 degrees. And because x and y are alternate angles, they must be identical. So x is equal to y is equal to 68 degrees. In the fourth example, we're asked to calculate the angle x. So we have two parallel lines going horizontally across, and we have three parallel lines going diagonally across. We're given 88 degrees here, and we're asked to find x. So we know that there is a corresponding angle here that will be identical to 88 degrees because it traces out the f shaped. So this line, this line, and this line makes up the f shaped. And so that is 88 degrees. And we can apply the same rule again, tracing this, this line, this line, and this line as f shaped. We have that angle as 88 degrees as well. And we know that this is a straight line. And so a straight line has a total angle of 180 degrees. So we can find y by applying that rule. And we know that x and y are alternate angles because it traces out the z-shaped or z-shaped. So this is the horizontal line, vertical line, and horizontal line again, tracing out the z-shaped. And so x is equal to y because they are alternate angles. So to solve for y, we can apply the 180 degree angle on a straight line. So that's that 180 degree there minus 88 degrees, which is that angle, and that simplifies to y is equal to 92 degrees. And because x and y are alternate angles, they must be identical. So x is equal to y is equal to 92 degrees. To summarize, there are two pairs of alternate angles when two parallel lines are intersected by a third line. So here we have two parallel lines, and a third intersecting straight line. So if we label that angle as A, the alternate angle is here, and that is given by B, and A is equals to B. And a second pair is where we label this angle as C, and the alternate angle is here, and we can label that as D, and C is equals to D. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.